Hey everyone, it's me Matt, and with my recent obsession with the new City Space sets, um, I made a custom dropship which I thought I would share with you all. So the idea of this ship was um, conceived after seeing the launch pad from the um, the command center and realizing, you know, taking one pot at a time up to or to and from you know each base seemed a little inefficient. Um, so I designed this ship as a way to take more than one pod, um, but I'll show you the main high, like features of it before I show you the actual docking mechanisms. Um, so at each end it has uh, rotating VTOL engines, uh, which are linked to each other so you can rotate the front ones at the same time and then the back ones can move at the same time. So it can sit um, VTOL and has you know the, the batteries in it which can just be popped out because I really like that aesthetic of having the, the, the batteries. Um, there is a front cockpit compartment which houses can house two, up to two minifigs. Um, for the main pilot, when you see you know, the canopy, um, he's you know, centered to the control panel but he doesn't actually sit, he's just standing because I couldn't fit in room and then there's just a, a co-pilot that just sits behind him. And then on the back side these are you know, the airlocks um, and this is where the pods are mounted so if I grab two pods these slot in here so this is currently like my favorite look with the pods in it, it looks like a very heavy duty dropship um, but this is the idea is that the it can take two pods yeah, and then it VTOLs and then takes off so it can drop these up to the space station or land two at a time and then I thought what if you could do more than two so the other big feature is this middle section extends so I can then take even more pods link them up and you have an extra long dropship that can take four pods so this, this feature was um, definitely a challenge to do, especially keeping it structurally stable. Because um, you can see it, it flexes a little bit um, with the, the plates, but it does it is quite steady. Um, I tried making it so you could turn all of the engines at once, um, but because of the extension function, I couldn't get it, the gears to relock in, so I just left the engines on the two halves. But yeah, the the extended version looks a little weird, um, but it does, like, it gets the idea across. Um, I just prefer the, the shorter version, but there is the option to take a lot more pods, which I think feels a lot more feasible um, in universe to be able to take all of that stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I might eventually add more, um, like, variants of the pods as more like storage so you know for like vehicle parts so rather than just you know the pod with say a lab or tools in it you can think of like a one that opens like a giant bin or something you know and that would have um, parts to let's say repair some of the land vehicles um, or maybe even one that can carry a mech one of the mech suits um, but for now this this is what I've got and yeah I'm really happy with how this turned out um, yeah so yeah seeing this yeah I think you can come up with some cool city space stuff because I really like this aesthetic and the the the, gim the pod gimmick. Um, so I hope to see more mocks and um, more sets of it in the future. So yeah, thanks for watching.